intro riff here. Uh, this is kind of like the pre-verse part one, I guess you could say. Uh, we're just hitting this big E5 power chord here. So open low E, uh, do a 7A, 9 on the D and G there. And we're just strumming away, eighth note style. Um, you want to do about four measures of this just as it is. And then we kind of kick into like uh, the pre-verse section. So uh, just jamming on that E power chord for a good four measures. <laughs> Keep it going, uh, but the last measure we do of it, this next time around, we're gonna come up and hit three uh, B power chords, 79 on the A and D, cut it, drop it down to an A power chord at the fifth fret here, hit that, just kinda let it ring for a count or so, and then we just start it all over. Okay, you wanna go through that, that section, the uh, three measures, the E5, B5, A5, go through that twice. All right, we get these big octave sliding lead notes that come in. Uh, initially, uh, we're just gonna hang out on the A and G um, slide up 11A, 13G, bring it back down to the 7 and 9 on the A and G, just take it higher now, go 12 and 14, down to 7 and 9, okay, come up 14, 16, down to 7 and 9, alright, now we shift up a set, we go uh, 13D, 16B, hit it a couple times, up a fret, so we're at 14 and 17, hit that a couple times, alright, and that'll be kind of like the first run, uh, we go through our initial uh, G sliding spots, alright, all the way to the, uh, you know, 14, 16, down to 7, 9, all the way through that section. And instead of capping it off with that D, B octave riff, uh, we're going to come up to G and E now, all right? And uh, it'll be 11, G, 14 on the E. Come up 13 and 16. And then bring that down to 9 and 12. Right, and to cap it all off, if you just want to do like what the piano is doing and that little break, it's just hitting some E's here, like 12 on the high E. called a pre-verse 2. Um, it's basically what the uh, verse is doing, but it just kind of adds a little something different at the end of the second time through. Uh, so more or less the verse, but just a little subtle difference here. Um, so we'll start with uh, open E power chords. Just do about five of them. Okay, come down, hit a B power chord. Off to an A power chord for three. Some A flat power chords here at the fourth fret of the E. Do three of those. Down two frets for the F sharp power chord. Do about five of those. Come up, hit a quick C sharp power chord at fourth fret on the A. Down to the B power chords for about five. And then we come all the way up here. We go a D sharp power chord at the sixth fret of the A. And then finish on the seven of the A for the E power chord. All right. And we would go through all the way up through the C sharp power chord, go through that all again. And the second time through, this is like that subtle difference I was talking about. It just ends this way where we hit a couple of B power chords at the second fret of the A, up to the a, uh, E power chord at the seventh fret. 
and then a low open E. Okay, it just ends a little different the second time through. Otherwise, this is more or less the, uh, the verse progression. So let's try it slowly here. Okay, so once the vocal comes in and the verse starts, uh, like I said, it's pretty much that previous progression. We just do that first time through twice. All right, you don't really need to worry about that second ending that happens. <laughs> Pre-chorus section, uh, we pretty much have these descending power chords with E uh, bass notes kind of interspliced here. It's a real interesting, fun little uh, progression to get going here. So we'll start with just hitting the open low E, then we do the uh, E power chord at the 7 uh, on the A. Go between it again. Down to the D power chord at the 5th fret. Open E, D power chord to the C power chord at the third fret. Okay, open E, C power chord, open low E. So slowly it's. Right. Moving on, uh, we kind of just. Do the same style, just different spots. So we go between uh, open E and the D power chord a couple times at the fifth fret here on the A. To C at the third fret. Open E, C power chord, B power chord. Hold that a moment and then just slide it up to the uh, high voiced E power chord. Finish on a low E. So, uh, we basically kind of stay in that area. We'll start at open E, C power chord, open E, C power chord, to B at the second fret, open E to B, A power chord, open E, A power chord, low E. And after we get through that section, uh, we just kind of do this in line with the vocal thing, the do what we like, like what we do section. Uh, so just strum three A power chords to a B. Kind of cut it, hesitate. Do a couple of Bs again. Hit the B, come up to the D sharp at the sixth fret. And then the seventh fret power chord on the A for the E. So, real fun section here. Once you get it down, it's uh, kind of cool to play. Chorus. Kick it off with some low E power chords here. Do about uh, eight of them. Okay, come up to the fifth fret for the A power chord. Do about four of these, bring it down a fret for the A flat at the fourth fret here. Just one strum there, and then back to the A at the fifth fret for about three. All right. Next section, do the same E power chord strums to about four of the uh, A at the fifth fret. 
And then here we just have kind of a punched in D power chord at the fifth fret on the A, back to the fifth fret on the E for the A power chord. All right, repeat the uh, initial measure, the E's A, A flat to A. Uh, and to cap that off, we would just go to uh, open E power chords for about eight of them. And then we do F sharp here, power chord, a couple times. B at the second fret of the A, up to the seven for the high E, to the low E. chorus the party hard party hard part um, we're gonna kind of like condense that initial measure of the chorus just kind of do three open E power chords come up to a couple or a few A's on the fifth fret do the A flat back to A all right and we just jam through that three times um, from there, we do a few B power chords at the second fret of the A, come up and hit a few uh, E power chords at the seventh fret of the A, come down, hit that E flat at the sixth fret, back to the E. Okay. All right. Do our uh, initial measure again, the E, A, A flat, A, about three times. All right, and then just finish it the second time by hitting uh, F sharp at the second fret of the E a couple times, drop down to the B for a couple times, second fret of the A, up to the seventh fret for a couple of E's, and then we do our single uh, E flat back to E.